Hi friends, myself Santo Kumar. I am a Microsoft 365 consultant. In this video, I am going to show you a preview version of new Graph Explorer. So before jumping to Graph Explorer, we need to understand the two terms. One is Microsoft 365 and the another one is Microsoft Graph API. Microsoft 365 is nothing but which combines the three services called Office 365, Windows 10 and Security. So by using the Microsoft Graph API, we can fetch and access all the data across Microsoft 365 services. By using the Graph Explorer, we can test the Graph API endpoints. So by using that, we can fetch the data across Microsoft 365. Currently, I am in Microsoft Graph homepage. From this page, in the top menu, I can see list of uh, informations related to Microsoft Graph. From here, I am click on Graph Explorer. This will navigate to the older version of Graph Explorer. To navigate to new Graph Explorer, we have a preview toggle switch. So by using that, I am redirecting to the new Graph Explorer. This looks nice and clean and lightweight. This is built using the React and Office UI fabric. Now we'll see what are the new features and enhanced features available in new Graph Explorer? Below to the preview, I am able to see the sample queries and history. There are tabs. I can switch between these two easily by click on the title. Under the sample queries, I can see the list of sample queries available for each application in Office 365, Security and Windows 10. By using this, I can run the endpoint. I can test response. I'm click on getting started, click on my profile and run query. So this will return the sample. At present, I didn't log in, so I get the sample response. So if you want to test another one, just click on Outlook calendar, all events in my calendar. So it returns all the events for the current user and there as well history. So I'll just click on the history tab. Here I can see what are the older sample queries I have tested here. So this is what I have tested in yesterday and older. I can use the search box to check out some sample query to retrieve all the teams associated under my name. So teams, my joint teams. That's it. So now it is very easier to fetch what we required from the Graph Explorer. So at present, I am retrieving all the information as a mockup data. If I want to retrieve my current actual live data, I have to log into Graph Explorer. Click on sign into Graph Explorer. Once I click on, it will open a pop-up. From there, I have to log in. Whereas in previous Graph Explorer, it will redirect us to log in. Now, it is just simple. It's open a pop-up. We no need to redirect and come back. Now, I logged in. Once I logged in, I just click the run query and I can retrieve all my actual live data here. So, I am navigating to UC tab now. From the UC, I will just click on me to retrieve my current profile alone. Just run query. Here the query is run and I get my actual data. There are actually new features is added to both request section and response section. Both sections are built using the Monaco editor which is used for building a Visual Studio code. By using the Monaco editor, I can use the format document and cut copy and run the command palette from here itself. In the request section, I can see the two tabs, two new tabs from the request section. One is permissions, which shows what are the permission scopes record for the current endpoint which I have run. I have to approve any one of the permission scope below to retrieve actual information. So if the permission scope is not approved, it will throw the unauthorized error in the response section. I have already given approval to my all the permission scopes which displayed here. If you have didn't approve any permission scope, it will show you a button, blue button called a consent. You have to click on that button to approve whether the Graph Explorer can use your actual data. Next to the permission, I can see auth which is once I log in, I can get the access token because the graph endpoint needs the authentication and that authentication comes from the access token because to access every actual data, we need a access token. So once I log in, automatically the access token will get updated here under the auth tab. The next two new additional features are adaptive cards and snippet. Here you can see the current response which satisfies the adaptive cards. We can see the preview of adaptive card here. So based on the preview itself, where we can use this response as an adaptive code in our Teams app or SharePoint framework or any kind of application which we are built using 
the graph api and next one is snippets is just a url we have run if you want to use this actual endpoint in our code we need some snippet we need some code the graph explorer which comes with that idea so we can use this snippet in our application before we have to inject this in our application we have to add a microsoft graph sdk we already have a graph sdk for all c sharp javascript java and objective c after adding that graph sdk we can just copy this code and add it in our code to get the response we can use this snippet in our code for developing the application so overall the summary is there is a new preview toggle button is added here and the sample queries and you see available as a tab panel view and we got new permissions on the odd tab under the request section and adaptive cards and snippet in the response section overall the authentication will open a pop-up by using that pop-up we can authenticate the graph explorer to ensure that we need to uh, disable that pop-up blocker here so that we can easily authenticate and that's all today stay tuned for more videos from my youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe kts kumar thank you